Today we are talking about the EU Travel Kit. Uh, they contain many compulsory items that you need to have in your car if you are travelling in um, certain European countries. Uh, so let's take a look at what's in the bag. So first of all, the front has a guide on there with the different European countries and what's compulsory and what's recommended. So before you travel, I recommend looking at that and seeing definitely what you need um, and in, in some cases some countries even require a fire extinguisher. So it's good to have a look in there and see exactly what you need and to make sure you're complying with that. Uh, next, more or less every country in the, in the EU requires you to have a GB sticker on your car. This is a magnetic one, so you can remove it when you get back to England, uh, or Great Britain, sorry, um, and it won't leave any marks. Uh, we have a first aid kit, which is just handy to have anyway. It is compulsory in a lot of countries, but it's just common sense to have one in your car. Uh, we have the uh, super beam benders, which is to basically not blind oncoming traffic with your beams because they'd be pointing the wrong way in, in a British car. We have a emergency bulb kit, which again is essential for, for most European countries. Uh, we have the breathalysers. This is a, a two-pack um, because it, more more in France you are required to have two in, at least two in your car. Um, so that's them. Uh, we have a high vis vest. Again, just uh, it's smart to have one of these in your car if you do break down anyway, uh, just so you're visible on the side of the road. And again, when it comes to visibility on the side of the road. You also have a warning triangle, which folds away, very small, like that, that hooks around there, the legs come out and you put that down the road from your car, so to warn oncoming traffic that you have broken down. Yes, yeah, so like I say, all of these, um, most of these products are all compulsory in, if you are driving in Europe but a lot of them are just common sense safety wise to have in your car and are very helpful even if you're in Great Britain. The bag itself has two Velcro strips on there so you can actually just attach that to the fabric inside your boot and it will just stay there. Hopefully you never have need to use it but you know you'll be conforming to the law if you have one. So to find out more details or anything else just click the link on the page.